Hi guys and welcome back to our tutorial series. In today's tutorial I will be showing you how to interact with objects. Now what I mean by this is if I show you quickly right now, in the previous tutorial I just uploaded, you noticed that all these objects were moving when I got when I got close to them. That what object interaction is and it basically only works if an object has a rigid body on them. And the good thing about this, let's say if you're playing campaign mode, you get stuck. If you don't have this, you can end up getting stuck there and you might have to reset the whole level. This will prevent that. So if you walk next to these, it will just kick them out of the way, adding a little force in the position. So in order to do that, first thing you want to do is you want to have a little thing at the bottom of the player's feet. And I'm going to just quickly create a empty game object and place that under there. Just going to shrink it down. Roughly around here is fine. Place, him, place this cube just above his feet so it's something like this well, not above it but just like that we don't want a mesh render for this and that's okay save this, no it's not, hold on, feet's coming out of the box there you go, save it uh, rename this cube to foot ray alright and drag this into the main player Right, so, oh also, click on the foot ray, make sure it's a trigger and you don't want it to be a box collider, turn that off. Right, and let's create the script for this. So in the FPS folder script, script folder sorry, create a new JavaScript and call this body call, short for body collision. Okay, double click and open this in more develop. Oh, I had my previous one there, sorry. Uh, Alright, uh, you don't need start and the top thing, delete it. Let's define the variables we need. First one's going to be far range, the range of the ray cost. And it's going to be a type float. And it's going to be equal to nothing for now. Next one's going to be far, <coughs> far force. It's going to be a type of um, float as well. And it's going to be equals to nothing as well. Alright, that's the first variables, uh, first two variables we need and the rest goes in all in the update function and this is where the magic starts. Okay, so the first thing we want is a new variable and it's going to be called hit. This is going to be for the hit point for the raycast and it's going to be a type raycast hit. Raycast, raycast, there we go. Raycast hit. The next one we need the direction of the raycast. So we're going to say for FWD, short for forward. It's going to be equal to transform, not our transform, which is get clearer. It's the transform of the object it will be placed on. So if the script's going to be placed on this and it's going to look for the forward direction, which is a Z, and make a raycast coming out of that direction. And we're going to say transform dot position sorry not position dot transform um, direction open bracket close bracket open uh, closing semicolon and inside the two brackets put vector free dot forward okay save that now let's debug the raycast so we can see it in our scene mode we're gonna say debug dot log not sorry not dot dot log dot draw ray do not do draw line please do not put that put draw ray and we're gonna say draw the ray from the transform of the object and transform position sorry comma the forward we just created times the range which we will give ourselves and the color of the ray. The color I'm going to put, it's a capital C not lowercase. I'm going to use a nice, what color does it offer us? Let's see. A nice green. There we go. Now let's start creating the if statement for the ray cast. So we're going to say if, open bracket, close bracket, open curly brace and close curly brace. Inside the if statement we're going to say physics dot raycast open bracket close bracket and inside this we're going to say draw the raycast from the transform 
transform stop position sorry lowercase t not uppercase <clears throat> not position comma in the forward direction we made comma we want a hit point in this comma and the range of it all right that's that and inside this we want if open bracket close bracket open curly brace and close curly brace now this is going to the detection so we're going to say if we hit a rigid body and if we hit so uppercase h it hit a collider that has the following tag so game object dot tag equals equals oh, uh, two speech marks and we're going to say small box that's what I'm going to call the little crates okay if we hit a rigid body and that rigid body has a collider and it's tagged as small box we want to add force to it so we're going to say hit dot rigid body dot add force at position now you can see you've got some other things here that says add explosion force relative force and all that I will be teaching you how to make grenades soon so keep in mind we'll be using something from here I'm not going to say which one but I'll get, let you think for now at position open bracket close bracket and that that and where do we want to add the force we want to add the force on the forward direction we made times that by the force variable and comma and we want to apply this force if our hit point hits the rigid body so a hit dot point there we go that's done save this go into unity just make sure there's no errors there is actually an error did I put a lowercase h? Yes, I did. Uh, I forgot to change this. It's a capital H. Save. Back into Unity. Let it update. Yep, no errors. Great, I'm happy. Woohoo. Alright, let's check if that works. Foot ray. Okay, you can see there's no ray cast at the moment. That's because we haven't actually set it. So, and we didn't attach the script yet. So, I feel like a real idiot right now. Place the script, and then we'll see. Okay, you can't see it. Good. Let's set the bullets while it's running. Okay, let's set the range to 0 0.66 and the force I'll add myself. 0 0.66 and I want to add 165 force. Okay. Now the crates are there. The big crate has mass of 25 anything less than that can be pushed by that force I'll explain in a different tutorial how to do all the different force with different size objects so these small ones are now pushable okay Actually, that collider is a bit too high. Not collider, but the foot ray thing's way too high. We actually do want it somewhere around here. All right, brilliant. Save this. And let's try again. So we run up to the object, and there we go. As you can see, it pushes it away. That's what we wanted in the first place. yep everything moves yep so that's how you create that now you if you remember I showed you you can also move big objects but I won't cover that in this tutorial I'll leave it as a follow-up later on and yep guys that's how you interact with rigid body objects as always thank you for watching don't forget to, for, uh, forget to rate comment subscribe and I will see you soon take care bye bye